so we're here once again in Kinovea and for this video we're gonna um, try to use the Kinovea on measuring or assessing the range of motion of a person okay so again just select your video or your image that you want to use for analysis and then double click okay so we are already here in the workspace of Kinovea now as an addition, okay, as I've, I've already introduced the different buttons down here. So, there's this is a working space for the video. So, at this part, on the top part, you can see uh, this is the whole length of the video. So, let's try to click play. Okay, as you can see, the bar is moving with the movement of the video. Now, as you play the video, you can actually change the speed if you want it to become faster. You can vary the playback speed. Okay, or make it slower. So, slow motion. So, there. Okay, now... Once you're done replaying or playing a video, so my suggestion here is to actually select a frame or keyframes for your analysis. So let's say this is my starting point and then play the video. So I want to analyze the elbow flexion. Okay, and then I'll pause in this part. So this is just for... Um, Demonstration purposes, no? I, I know that, you know, the range of motion assessment of elbow flexion was thought to be done in supine position. But for demonstration, so our patient, for example, is in standing position. And you want to measure the angle of the elbow flexion, okay? So, I have paused the video in this part. And then, what you can actually do is click this bracket button here. It's written there. Uh, set the last frame of working zone to the current frame. So, what I will do is just click on it. And as you can see, the, the length of the video was now cut into this specific uh, length. Okay, so when you try to click on play, it will only play up to the point of your video and then just repeat on it okay so now i have decided that this is the keyframe of the video that i want to an analyze okay you can just pause and now let's start assessing your uh, range of motion but first okay again you can add uh text or label so i would like to add um uh, before that pala, sorry. Uh, before you can add or do anything, okay, my suggestion is you click this part, okay? Add a key image, meaning you would select a specific frame or specific shot on the video that you have selected where you will apply your analysis, okay? So, we are at the end of the video and I want this to you, I want to use this as my starting position, so, just click Add Key Image. There you go. Okay, now, from this image, you can annotate and do your analysis or your observation. So, first, I would like to add a text as a label. Okay, so, let's write here, left, elbow flexion. Okay. Ayan. Let left elbow flexion so so that i will know that this is my analysis for my left elbow flexion okay and then again using the key markers or cross markers you can now practice applying it on your different bony landmarks remember in the real gun uh, range of motion assessment we use a goniometer and we identify body landmarks for the fulcrum and the proximal and the distal arm. So, you can practice it here. 
So, let's say for elbow flexion, our fulcrum would be on the lateral epicondyle. So, uh, let's just assume that this is the lateral epicondyle. Okay. And then, for your proximal arm, it's on the midline of the humerus in reference to the acromion process. So, let's say this is the acromion process. You can put label on it. And then, for the distal orb, it is on the lateral midline of the radius, okay, in reference with the radial styloid process. So, let's say here is the radial styloid process, okay. So, now that I have identified the landmarks, you can now add the angle button, okay. So, you just click on the fulcrum so that the fulcrum of your angle would be on that landmark, okay? So, as you can see, it's in the 90 degrees. And then, ayan, you can use the hand button to actually adjust uh, the angle so that it will match, or, okay, from your cross markers, okay? Now, Here's the thing, uh, as you can see, the angle is 172 degrees, okay? So, be because uh, that's the real angle, it's, uh, <laughs> it's how it is here in Kinovea. Now, for us to be able to use this information for our starting range, for our range of motion assessment, okay? I would like to create a label here, and... Medyo may konting mat. Okay? So, we'll subtract 172 degrees from 180. Okay? So, what I did is just add a label and then let's type in here 180 minus 172. Okay? It's because for, for you to remember how you got that specific decrease, I would suggest that you compute on the spot here, okay? So, 180 minus 172 is 8 degrees, okay? So, let's say uh, we did not start on 0 degrees of elbow extension because it is slightly bent. Probably, let's say your patient has tightness or there's spasticity, okay? So, that's 8 degrees of starting for elbow flexion, okay? And then, you can just Adjust the label and put it there. Okay? Now, after that, this is our starting position. You can now move on to your end position. So, you just have to click on the play button down below here. Okay, and then let's say this is already my end range, okay? Active range of motion of elbow flexion, end range. And you want to measure this angle, okay? So, let's do the same thing. First, add a label. Okay, next, what I want to do is to add the cross markers on our different label. So, this is my lateral epicondyle in reference to acromion and radial styloid process. Okay, and then add the angle. Okay, full crew, proximal arm, midline, acromion process, and then moving arm or distal arm. Okay, so... Okay, so there you go. You got here 44 degrees, okay? But of course, because this is an acute angle. But remember, it's a moving measurement. What we do for a range of motion is a moving measurement. Meaning, from the starting position, going to the end of the elbow flexion, okay? So, what we can do here... I forgot to do this, okay? But this is your key image already. So, that add it as a key image. And then, now we'll compute again, okay? So, just 
click here subtract just subtract um this degree to 180 so let's type in 180 minus excuse me uh 44 okay equals so what we got here is 136 degrees okay so meaning the end position of our elbow flexion is at 136 degrees okay so there you go you already have the starting position here at uh, 8 degrees and then your end position here at 136 degrees now after this after doing this you can first save your image okay so just go down here on the lower excuse me right portion of the workspace click here save image okay and then for example i would write here start left elbow okay start of the left elbow flexion rom and then click in save and then for another key image here okay save image again and then for example this is the end left elbow flexion rom okay now for your documentation you can actually add this two key images and uh, you can add more labels here that this is the end start position or end position and then just copy or copy the image that you have saved or uh, do it the traditional way on how we document the range of motion okay so you create the table and then you just write there on the start range is at eight degrees and then on the end range is uh, 136 degrees and then so put it on a table and just apply your labels and then where you will attach it on your document so in the iacf form you just have to find the test and mesh measures portion okay and then add there your rom table okay so that would be the basics of how to use the Kinovea for your range of motion assessment. Okay, and then you can just explore again the different functions of the Kinovea software. And, you know, use um, your creativity also in designing this one, okay?